Access to financial services has always been a key pillar in the fight against poverty and in the improvement in the overall standards of living for people living with low income. For the people of rural Belize, this has been a challenge given the substantial cost and time required to physically visit institutions to save or to access loans. Since 2009, a novel program has found a way to deliver those services right to their doorsteps. The government uh, of Belize, the International Fund for Agricultural Development and the Central American Bank for Economic Integration uh, came together to design a project, the Belize Rural Finance Program, um, for the delivery of financial services to the rural communities of Belize. Um, and hence in 2009, the Belize Rural Finance Program uh, was started. To date, 5,500 people have benefited from the matching grant scheme of the program. Just over 1,000 people have gotten loans from the credit unions. Um, the total number of loans is just about 2,900 and is just under 5 million billion dollars. The program has had a far-reaching effect, touching the lives of people living in rural communities in all six districts of Belize. This has been made possible through six participating credit unions who are benefiting from institutional strengthening to bolster their capacity to provide improved services, grow membership, and improve financial performance. People, whenever they give you a job, they want to know if you have a garage, if you have tools. And if you don't have that, they think twice to give you the job. I had a garage there that I had to stop work when it rained because um, I made it up of loan, bush thick and <laughs> what now, credit, I, can, I try credit union and they help me now, they give me a hand, a big hand too. This program is important in ahorrar dinero en base de esos, de ellos que dan préstamos. El porcentaje son bajos, no te cobran mucho interés. A long time ago, I tried to find some finance to help me up and uh, try to raise back the farm after the what Hurricane Dean cast to us. And um, it's very hard to find financial help. With this that I got from the credit union, I have even talked to other farmers and tell them, you know what, there is a program with rural, for rural development at the credit union. Try get in and see how you could help yourself. This program has allowed us basically to take the services of the credit union into the, into the kitchens, into the households of people who without it really, they would not have been able to access the services of, of any credit union. The Colada Credit Union is helping us in loan so that we can keep the money in deposit and the shares. It helps a lot. And pues para, para, para el futuro. Y gracias a Dios y a Credit Union, pues ya hoy nos han ellos ayudado con bastante ayuda para poder trabajar mejor, más favorable, con equipo más competente y nos ha ayudado bastante. Ahorita que yo acabé de pagar este préstamo, pues yo quiero prestar para comprar ventanas y puertas para nos casa. Ahí en la Maculada Credit Union. A couple of years back, people didn't want to fool with the cocoon because it was a lot of hard work. But with, with the building, with the equipments and everything, it has made it a lot easier. With the loan of the credit union, we put up a lot more, two, three times more than what we used to do before. I'm sorry, they never start many, many years ago because I'm a bit off financially now. The project focused on, for example, rural poor, but I think that's one of the mischaracterization of the people in rural community. And they're not really poor people, you know, because at the end of the day, what we found out is that a lot of these people actually um, end up saving a good amount of money. The problem was that they never had how to do it. When we tell them about the shares and savings incentives, they're, um, they're amazed that the credit union can actually provide a matching grant. And although it's um, just eighty dollars for them. It, so it takes them a long way in terms of starting their account. I stay, I stay three, three months without work. I was not working. I was just helping my dad. I was wondering what I would do. And then when I, when I spoke with her, she told me about if I, about the loan that I can loan a, a amount of money. 
and then I think about business and, and that was the only, only way to start a business because really I, I, I don't have the money to start and only, only I had like 2,500, I need 5,000 to start a business, to buy computers, to, to rent this house, clean this house and all that and when she told me about that, I really, that helped me a lot. More businesses want loan, they're asking for loans and we at St. John's Credit Union are working on creating packages of loans that these people will be able to access. Well, the benefit that I um, learned from the program um, that is that Mr. Flores, the first time Mr. Flores come and I opened my account here at the village and the savings that I do that he always come and pick up the savings along with the loan. So to me, it helps a lot because then, meanwhile he come right here, so I, my shop still open, I continue to sell. Now if I have to go here and so, then I lose my customers. Right now I'm just saving. Saving, I try to reach a certain amount so that I could borrow and expand the business. Payment thing is very, very affordable. You know, something where above your reach, you know. When you go for apply and tailor it for you for your income. Because of the Belize Rural Finance Program, the Toledo Teachers Credit Union has seen an increase in, in membership growth, uh, increase in shares, and also increase in the agriculture loan sector. Uh, there are more people in the communities coming in for uh, business loans, cattle loans, ag agriculture loans, and, and so forth. I go and left fifty dollars, and then. I, I, when I get $100 and then I go left it there. Credit Union is helping us a lot now. The things that I found out that really helped me is, is with emergency. We had a loan at that time and then, and then suddenly we get into an emergency and then I had to talk to, to the Credit Union and then, and then I got, I told them my situation, that how I need some quick um, assistance. Huh? There's a friend who was looking for, for help. Say that um, he, he need to expand. And we sit down with him and I begin to talk to him. I begin to tell him about the, the, the credit union. That is, that is the bank that he could uh, get into for, for making get help, you see. Say that he want to expand his past. As you said, my friend, I told him that um, it's hard when you when you are just fighting on your own. It's very hard. But if you join the credit unit, you will get help, and you, you will see your dream will come to pass. I told him. <laughs> Then, <laughs> It was still a credit union that killed was low interest. Low interest. When she was making the Oxford Credit Union, she was making 10% in the top. $3 in the top, 100 ketals in the top. Pues, she was making 2,500. She was making 2,500. She was making 2,500. She was making Entonces, Chirisha Ananakwan, Shinto Onip Chik, $12,000 Shinto On. Shinto On, $12,000. Chik Shinto On, Chakta Tienpa. The vision of the Belize Rural Finance Program is a Belize where the dreams and aspirations of the poor are realized through access to inclusive financial products and services. Uh, every month I'm paying my loan and uh, putting um, money into my shares. Well, because, you see, uh, that's for my future. 
<laughs> that's for my future. You see, that's for my future, and I want to have some money for my future. Biggest benefit, and I think it's the best program that ever come to Belize River Valley. We envision that this relationship will go far, far beyond the life of the program. It will, be even, it will go even farther than the lives of our new members owners because we're looking at including their children. We're looking at including the children of their children. We hope that the poor and productive poor people living in rural communities will no longer be intimidated or afraid to access the financial services that are being provided by credit unions. We hope that they will be able to take advantage of these services to improve their assets, to increase their assets, and to improve the quality of lives of their families, and also to improve the quality of living in the rural communities.